Prince William, apparently, he's very frustrated. But what can he do to stop this latest intrusion of privacy? Hi, good morning. Neil Sean here in the heart of London. Thank you for joining me today. And that is one of your breaking world stories coming out of London today. And it all centres, basically, well, it all really circles back to the problems that he's having with his younger brother, Prince Harry. But more importantly, it centres also on his late mother, the gracious Princess Diana. Now, as we know, we've recently seen a statue unveiled in her honour. And, of course, they had a celebratory party get-together last week out at Kensington Palace to celebrate her life, her work and her charities. All very noble, attended, of course, by Prince William and close senior members of the British Royals. Sadly, no appearance from Harry himself, which uh, is a really strange thing when you think about it. But now Prince William has a bigger problem. And as I say, it circles really back to his younger brother, Prince Harry. And this is it. The problem really centres on the fact that there is a brand new series looming, Series 5 of The Crown, that is the streaming service Netflix. Need to say no more about that, as I'm sure you'll understand. Now, they've decided to dramatise, when you think about this, this is ludicrous in itself, but dramatise that now infamous interview between Princess Diana and the disgraced BBC journalist Martin Bashir. Now, Prince William, as I said, has vented his anger about this particular situation. The writer Peter Morgan, though, says that it has to remain inside the serial because it is part of historical history. Well, that's laughable in itself, simply because we know the crown is not historically correct. You know, they basically are not slandering Dallas dynasty. Love it, but, you know, let's not take it as factual. And to say that you want to put that in is really, as I say, disgraceful behaviour. But as ever, moving on. Now the bigger problem is this, with Prince William announcing to the media that he's frustrated and of course upset by the fact that they're going to continue to push forward with this particular, well, storyline for want of a better word, then that really does circle back to his younger brother, Prince Harry. Now, as you know, Prince Harry's got that mega deal with the streaming service that he's about to, well, release this latest series in the early part of next year. Now, it's difficult, isn't it? Because Prince Harry has said nothing about anything related to working for Netflix, even though they screened that dire musical, as we told you a few days ago about his late mother, and of course, they continue to portray him and his close family members in The Crown. But he is really in a very difficult place. He could quit and give the money back, but I don't really see that happening. Or at least he could put out a statement saying that he too is unhappy. But as we saw with the Oprah Winfrey interview, he was asked about whether he'd watched The Crown. They both were, and they both nodded rather sort of sagely and slightly embarrassed about it, but not embarrassed enough to give the money back. Now, for Prince William, as I say, I think this is going to be very hurtful, not just for him, but of course, let's not forget her brother Earl Spencer, Diana's sisters, and all those around her. And given the fact that, of course, this interview now has been highlighted as being totally fabricated and the means to get that particular interview really the BBC have promised never to screen it again but of course that's too late it's all over social media as for the disgraced BBC journalist Martin Bashir still no word from him other than get this at the time Princess Diana was very happy with the interview what a thing to say but for Harry, Meghan and Prince William moving forward, they have bigger problems on how this particular situation could in fact try and cement them together once again. If Harry really does want to reconnect with his British family, then perhaps he may need to bite the bullet and cut his losses with a streaming giant for good. Do you think he will? As ever, let me know what you think in the comments below. Neil Shaw in the heart of London.